How hard is that, though? I'm mad at that record. Why? In a good way. A lot of dudes, that's whole style of record, got Jack after that. You know what I mean? Oh. About it, about it. Yeah. And let me tell you something about this record. I didn't do one drop the whole record. I, I was, it was moving so much. I didn't, you know, right, I, didn't take right. the, I didn't do it till the after the. It's fading. I just let them rock. Every time they said so, I, I want to drop it, but I was like, nah, I just feel like a ride. You don't want to get right, off. Right, that's why. So I let the record. I, we just mix it and just when it was done, I just stopped. That was it. No drops, no nothing. You in now? At this point, you all the way in. I'm over in. Like <laughs> I'm. I'm, run, I'm I'm captain. I'm running the show. I'm I'm in charge. I'm the H N I C. You gotta come to me for everything. Pharrell, uh, RZA, all of them. Anything that comes through, you gotta come see me first. How you feel Buck about Wild, all of them? Do you you realize that we just made the twenty year anniversary of that Locks debut, just like a couple of days ago? To uh, what the... debut? Money Power Spec? The album? That their album. It is. It is two thousand eighteen. That's right, because it came out January ninety eight, didn't it? Yep. Wow. Congratulations to LOX. Ain't that something? That's crazy. Yep. Do you think that artists like Lox, Mace, Tracy Lee, Black Rob acknowledge the fact that producers like you contributed to their greatness? Oh, absolutely. Uh, Mace just did two interviews, um, Rap Radar, and um, another interview where you know he pretty much blew me up. The locks and kiss and styles every time they're around, they like their experience with me was unlike any other. Um, <clears throat> that's the one good thing. That no, that's dope. I think the one good thing that I got is the respect of the artists that I work with because I was one of them. Mm. Wasn't it? I wasn't the mountain climbing A and R. Right. I did what they did before they did it, and so there was nothing they could tell me about what they was doing. Matter mm -hmm. of fact, my stories are worse than theirs because I came from an era where we had to rent our own cars and hit the road. Right. But we weren't getting money to do stuff, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Where, you know, you were getting two cents off the dollar. The 12 was like a bonus. By the time they was getting 12, we was like, y'all getting 12? Mm -hmm. like, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We mm -hmm. like bugging. So I, 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 I respect them for being from everywhere. They respect who came before them. That's important. You know what I'm saying? That's important. I mean, just the other day, all due respect, uh, there was a podcaster who disrespected Tracy Lee. I won't say his name, but he knows. Who Why he not? We're going to say his <clears> name. <throat> Nori. Um, anyway, um, so he... Um, disrespected he him disrespected how? disrespected Tracy Lee because he said he wasn't supposed to be on a record with Big. Like, who was that nigga? Why he get on a record with Big? Mm. So I'm sitting back saying to myself, man, that's... Okay, I get it. You know, you get a mic in front of you, you get to say what you want, but Kiss was the first one to jump to Trey Lee's defense and say, oh, nah, Trey's nice. And by the way, he's a lawyer now. Oh, good for Trey. Right, so by the way... Is he? Yeah, Trey's a lawyer, went to school, became a lawyer, so he can handle your Shout contract. out to Tracy Lee. Right, shout out Trey Lee. That's, a, that's another one who was one way all the time. Yes. Good people. Absolutely. He's good people. And that's the picture we got was at one of his shows, I believe. Y'all was performing at, uh, we got together 